Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Wayne and welcome back to the end of Vampire. Okay, to my market. Then I load him to <coughs> Yep, wait area. I'll go uh. You Londoners are no match for me. <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> yeah. You bought it on your tail. Don't want to do that. Okay, I'm out in one area. I did talk. Okay. Yet. 
Come on, come on. Up on oh my Up and pen up here. But where the app I can Yeah, up down. Okay. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen. No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left uh -oh. a trail I could follow. Uh Could they have been ever killed him all? Oh, tiny. Okay, might be yeah, top and ear. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Bye. It's a burden to tape. <sighs> the burden I do. I do it with a burden die. I want here. Maybe in here.
The coin. <coughs> More coin. A bill. Um, take out, but yeah, but. Okay, keep out though, not the tape tone. Mm, another weapon. Well, well, could the up gone. With uh, your yeah. ear. Nothing? Oh, damn. Okay, now it, it'll be dumb well. And what they are too. Bow the blood. Oh, oh, that could be. Yeah. I'm on to top it. Thirteen again. Take no <coughs> step further, child, for you are unprepared. You at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. 
She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by <coughs> a land of hate. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. Okay. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Right, so they might be up here. What? These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Blood had gone that way. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How Dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Okay. Hey, that that my dope. Thank you. Doe. Oh. Oh, you are quite a bear. Don't do I. Where been it? What the? Wet Queen. Out of the way. Hang on. Oh. Blood, feed me. 
Okay, so the quarter bit. Damn. Yeah. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. Do I buy pop up them or the the wet queen? Pop. The wood queen coming. Don't wait down. Oh. Eat, for this is my body. I will break it up more. They are under the Oh, what the? Goodbye. <coughs> no one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. So it's over then, Young Echo. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? 
This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other Suascals. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, Riff. Perhaps there will be no news <coughs> told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then. Young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Wow. Oh. <coughs> London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now. My craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. All right. Oh no, that didn't go. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Yeah, God. They're done it. Come on. It's daytime. I know you. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. 
I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest words. Speak right. clearly, then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Okay. I cannot enter. The no? castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Oh. Oh no. No. Um. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Locked. Diabia. Ah, not locked. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Like most castles, this one has a crypt, and it holds it. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. Okay. This castle is falling apart. Down near it then. Sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. <coughs> In the water. This painting looks... Suspicious. Hmm. Yeah. That uh, what queen? Okay. Oh. Um, I'm not 
you. Oh, a sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Sword and the moon. Okay. Sword on the moon. Down. Can't. Toward on the moon. Switch and do it on a tilt. No, do it on moon. Voila. Okay, that didn't open, but tap it did. Where was the um down there? Good, that could be what well, opened. Ah, oh, yeah. The thing the painting or a double taint or opened Elizabeth, my love. You allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. Um. Oh, duh. Good idea. Damn it, beer. Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. Never. 
You told me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, Father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I ah, yeah, and the bit you didn't do. Day day, peppy party. Welcome back to Lady and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Ecuten of Pampia. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Okay. William Marshall infected you. He is the true, original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are. William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. 
It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? You already are the sky, and all its stars. I'm not defeated, for I welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this. I love you, Elizabeth. I can do this. Please, stay with me. I... I believe you. This is crazy.
crazy, but I believe you, Jonathan. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Well, that's it. Okay. What do I pump here? Acton Acton Cam. So I hope you enjoyed Lake and Tikai Pep you did and I will see you next time. TT Peppy Party! <laughs>